this is just a uh, little solenoid motor I made from an old uh, brush cutter engine. Um, of course we have the uh, crankcase that we've all chopped down, trimmed up in the flywheel. Of course our solenoid inside is our uh, permanent magnet. You'll probably see that I've extended the uh, crankshaft, or should I say the conrod that's on the crankshaft just to get the magnet away from our rotating crank and also to reduce the angle um, of the conrod in reference to the magnet. The ignition system or our switching system is just two brushes which you see that I've changed to uh, 90 degrees rather than 180 so as it only fires once per evolution and then we've simply bridged the uh, commutator segments so as um, the switch is complete when our um, crankshaft is in the right position thus firing up the coil and um, of course pulling on the magnet in this case the uh, motor is running in a traction mode and for some unknown reason, for some reason, we have a um, much better inductive kickback with that EMF that we're collecting driving that uh, little light there. Uh, when it is running in attraction mode, in repulsion mode, uh, we don't get much uh, inductive kickback, and that would be due to the magnet um, creating a trying to create a current flow that is opposite to the inductive kickback of the coil. So at the moment you can see it's running very very slowly and quite smoothly. Um, the piston is a little sloppy inside the barrel there. Um, the hole in the barrel of course, the tube that I found for this was uh, slightly bigger than the magnet I'm using. So um, if we stop it you can see that we have quite a bit of movement in there. But um, just a quick throw together job. And um, the magnet we're using inside is 19 or 3 quarter inch by 1 inch. And um, I do have some of them around here somewhere. Not a very large magnet, it is a Neo. <coughs> As you can see, these are, uh, if you, I'm using one out of the um, piston I'm making for a bigger one, but uh, here we're going to use four of those magnets, and you can probably see them inside there. So, uh, three quarter by one inch. They are quite strong and um, I have quite a few of them so that's what got used. And like I said the bit of tube that I had was um, about 21 millimeters um, diameter in the bore. There's the uh, magnet's only 19 so it's fairly sloppy and um, when we get up into the higher RPMs it sounds like the big end's going to fly up but it's actually the uh, piston slapping around in the barrel. Running on uh, 14 volts at the moment. That is 24 volts. Oh. And what has happened there is our um, gudgeon pin has slid out and uh, rubbing on the side of the barrel so uh, I must have forgotten to tighten that up we'll be back shortly okay so we're up and running again after that little mishap and uh, I forgot to do up the guts and pin screw but um, anyway too late now it's uh, gouged the side of the barrel as you can hear but um, it's just a quick throw to get a job there's some scrap bits I'd laying around 
really the bit of the boredom for the long weekend. We added a bit of the oil in there as well, so that might have helped the cause a little. It would be a better way of doing this. And we could make a solenoid engine without actually having the uh, magnet going in and out of the uh, barrel itself. We'll put it on a uh, pendulum arm and just have it being attracted and repelled away from the uh, coil. would probably be a much better option. But, um, nonetheless, it's running. And, um, it does run quite smooth. Probably put too much oil in there. Um, it does maintain a very low RPM. Anyway, just a bit of fun. Nothing to do with free energy, just uh, a little throw together motor. And, um, yeah, it seems to work okay. Well, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, we'll see you next video.